Hello and welcome. P-M analysis is a technique for addressing chronic losses. We do this by investigating the mechanisms, physical principles, natural laws, and other functional elements of our processes and equipment. We refer to this as P-M analysis and not PM analysis to avoid confusion with preventative maintenance, planned maintenance, predictive maintenance, or other common uses of the letters PM. The letters P and M in the name of this technique stand for two key words. The letter P stands for phenomenon. This refers to an unwanted event such as an accident, breakdown, or defect that can be observed in fact. The letter M in the name stands for mechanism and refers to physical principles and other inputs. It's common to investigate detailed processes through the 4M inputs of machine, material, methods, and manpower. In other words, the P-M analysis approach studies phenomena or unwanted events in terms of their causal mechanisms and physical principles. Another way to understand this is that M represents the complex set of interacting factors and causes, and P is the effect of these causes. There are notable similarities and differences between P-M analysis and conventional root cause analysis techniques such as 5Y. Both methods rely on logical reasoning to understand the whole cause and effect chain to identify comprehensive countermeasures. For problems with clear and assignable causes, the YY or 5Y analysis method works well. A cause and effect investigation in the form of a tree diagram or fishbone diagram reveals the discrete causes that we can address. However, problems that result from a complex interaction of causes may be difficult to address with 5Y or other cause and effect analysis methods. Such problems can become chronic and remain unresolved because without a known cause, the countermeasures we try often miss the mark. Even for problems with clear causes, we may struggle to find effective countermeasures due to complex interactions of causes. Another difference is that conventional root cause problem solving may target a 50% or even 80% reduction in a problem, taking action on the most visible and highest priority areas. Often, quality improvement teams may succeed in reducing defects or failures from 5% to 0.5% using conventional or common sense techniques such as 5Y analysis. The team may struggle to find clear causes to reduce the last half percent. This is where P-M analysis is helpful. In contrast, P-M analysis often targets zero defects or zero accidents aiming to comprehensively address all factors that create the unwanted event. Stated another way, we should use 5Y and conventional methods until they are no longer enough and only then turn to P-M analysis. A similarity between P-M analysis and other root cause analysis methods is that we conduct them by forming small cross-functional teams. Now that we've compared P-M analysis and 5Y analysis, let's review the proven eight steps for conducting a P-M analysis. These steps are to clarify the phenomenon, conduct a physical analysis, identify constituent conditions, study the 4M inputs, and define optimal conditions for each factor. Then we study the measurement and investigation methods, measure and identify abnormalities and deviations from the optimal, and draft and implement an improvement plan, and set up controls to monitor and sustain the results. P-M analysis is a rigorous process that takes the guesswork out of root cause investigations. It allows us to solve problems with complex causal chains that we often run into while improving equipment performance. That wraps up our review of P-M analysis. We'll see you soon.